Today's video is going to cover solving systems of, of equations using elimination by multiplying first. So you can see here in the upper left box we've got a systems problem and it's asking us to solve. So if we're going to solve this system using what we already know then what we would first do is add or we would subtract the equations to eliminate one of the variables. So let's go ahead and try adding and see what happens. So if we add these two equations together, the number we get for x is 6 plus 2, that is 8x. So x did not eliminate when we added. What about y? 5 plus a positive 3 is also 8. So neither y or x was eliminated when we added the equations together. So we can't add to eliminate. Well, what happens if we subtract? So if we subtract these two, we have 6 minus 2, that's 4x, so x didn't eliminate when we subtracted. 5 minus 3, that is a 2, so y didn't eliminate either. So what's new about these systems is there are no opposites given to us. There are no opposite numbers in front of one of the variables, no opposite coefficients. And there's no same numbers given to us. So we cannot add right away, or we cannot subtract right away. In fact, what we're going to do today is we're going to use this property that we're very familiar with, multiplication property of equality, and we're going to multiply to create the opposite number or the same number. So if you remember what the multiplication property of equality is, you can multiply an equation by the same number, as long as you do it to both sides. So if you look at the systems down here, what can we multiply one of these equations by to either create an opposite number in front of one of the variables or a same number in front of the one of the variables? Well, you can see if we multiply this bottom equation by a 3, then the number that is in front of x will be 3 times 2 will be 6, which is the same number in front of x in the top equation. So let's go ahead and um, bring this top equation over. We're not doing anything to this. This is unchanged. And let's multiply this bottom equation by 3. So we're going to multiply it there, there, and then we're going to make sure we multiply it to the other side as well if we're using this property correctly. So we've got 6x plus 9y equals 15. And now that you have multiplied this bottom equation, you can see that the same number is present in front of x. And now we can go ahead and do our second step, which would be to subtract the same numbers. So this is essentially what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get into a couple of examples. So our step one here is going to be to multiply. And are we trying to create the same number in front of one of the variables or are we trying to create the opposite? Well, these have the same sign, so we can multiply what by 3 to get to 5. That would be some decimal number, so it doesn't make sense to try to eliminate x first. These are opposite signs, so if we add them together, they'll add to 0. We just need to get the number in front of y to 4 because positive and negative 4 are opposites. So what number times 2? gives us 4, 2 would give us 4. So we're going to go ahead and multiply y to create opposite. And now we can go ahead and do that. So 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 16 is 32. And we can go ahead and bring that bottom equation down. So here we have our new systems. How did we get from the original or the given to this new system? Well, we multiplied one of the equations by a 2, so we used MPE. And now step 2 is exactly what it was when we were given the opposites. So we're going to add to eliminate y. So if we add these straight down, 10 plus 3 is 13. These eliminate. 32 plus 20 is 52. And we just added by elimination. So A, B, E, 
is the justification there. And now step three, once we add to eliminate one of the variables, what we're going to do is solve for the remaining variable. So in this case, we're going to solve for x. We can start by dividing this 13. If we're dividing both sides, we're citing the DPE property, and we're left with x equals those divide to 4. Well, once we find what x is, our last step is to figure out what y is. So we're going to substitute x, and we're going to solve for y. Now when you substitute, I prefer that you use this original equation that you multiplied before you multiplied. And this will make sure that you got the right answer in the end, um, assuming that you did not make any mistakes afterwards. So we've got 5 times 4 plus 2y equals 16. And we just substituted x. So use the original um, equation when you can in these problems. Now we can simplify and solve. So if we simplify, we've got 20 plus 2y equals 16. And now we can subtract this 20 to both sides. And we're left with 2y equals a negative 4. And we can go ahead and divide. And we get y equals a negative 2. So our answer here is going to be written as a coordinate point where x is 4 and y is negative 2. Here we have the systems and you can see that there are no opposites or same numbers so we're going to have to multiply um, to either create an opposite or the same. Well in the last example we created an opposite so in this example let's see what happens when we create the same number so um, what would we have to multiply well it looks like we can either create the same in front of x because 2 is a factor of 8 or we can create the same number in front of y because 7 is a factor of 14. That makes it really easy. So we're going to multiply this bottom equation by, it's easier to multiply by a positive number. So since these are both positives, I'm just going to multiply by positive 4. That will give us a 8 in front of this um, x on the bottom equation. So we're going to multiply to create the same number. And when we do that, what we get to is we're going to bring this top equation down. So we 8x minus 14y stays the same. And then the bottom equation now becomes 8x plus 14y equals a negative 24. And you can see now we're going to subtract these equations because we've got the same number here. So um, real quickly, I'm going to give the justification here. We just multiplied one of the equations, so we're going to MPE. So step two is to subtract to eliminate x. So we're going to go ahead and subtract. And what we get here is 0, four, uh, negative 14, minus 14. I'm subtracting from debt, so I'm going further into debt. So negative 28. And a negative 24 minus negative 24. So negative 24 minus minus 24 those are positive so that's plus so that becomes 0 we just um, added them together so we're on step 3 now which is to solve for y since we subtracted them sorry we can write SBE as the justification now we're gonna solve for y we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 28 and we know that 0 divided by anything is 0. So DPE and Y equals 0. Now step 4, we can sub Y and solve for X. So if we substitute Y in, let's go ahead and use this original equation before we multiplied it. We get 2X plus 7 times 0 equals a negative 6. We just substituted y. We can simplify this to 2x equals a negative 6 because these multiply to 0 and 2x plus 0 is just 2x. So we can simplify it and now we can divide both sides by 2 and we get x equals a negative 3. Now we can write our final answer as a coordinate point and we get negative 3 comma 0. So those are the examples today. We went over one example where you created the 
same number and one that you created the opposite number in. This last example is optional if you feel like you want to go over one more example before you start the problem set. So here we can um, multiply to create the same or opposites. They have opposite signs already, so let's just create opposites by multiplying by a positive number. Now the number in front of x here is 1. We can create a opposite by multiplying this top equation by 3. Or we can create the opposite in y by multiplying this bottom equation by 2 because negative 5 times 2 would be a negative 10. I'm going to elect to multiply the top equation by 3. So I'm going to multiply for the opposite number. So now our new equation is 3x plus 30y equals 12. And we can bring the other equation down. We just multiplied one equation, so we can write MPE as the justification. Now step two, we can go ahead and solve by, or not solve, we can go ahead and add. So we're going to add to eliminate. And we're going to eliminate x. Those eliminate, this becomes 25, and this becomes 25. So that was add by elimination, and now we can solve for y. So we can divide by 25, divide by 25, that's DPE, y equals 1. Now step 4, we can sub y and solve x. So let's use the original equation here. We've got x plus 10 times 1 equals 4. x plus 10 equals 4. x equals a negative 6 after we subtract both sides. Our coordinate point here is going to be negative 6, comma, 1. That's the last example today. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the course update page or send me a message in Schoology or consult one of your classmates. Good luck on the problem set.